Hi folks, I'm here with our phenomenal deputy leader, Leela Ahir, currently MLA for Chestermere Rocky View and becoming the MLA for the new constituency of Chestermere Strathmore. Correct. And uh, congratulations on your nomination. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your service uh, in so many ways. Leela's also our uh, critic or spokesperson for child and family services in the caucus. Leela, uh, tell folks a little bit about your background. It's an interesting background, mm. so tell us a bit about that. So I'm a born and bred Albertan, was born in Edmonton. Uh, my father actually came from India in 1963, he's a chemical engineer. So I grew up out in the field in the oil and gas, which I think probably <laughs> is why you will see me just being one of the bigger cheerleaders of this industry. Sure. Well, I think all of us are at this point, but um, I grew up out in those little fields and in those portables with all of those folks working out, wow. you know, minus 20, minus 40, bringing our resources out of the ground in the most responsible way. I've always been so proud of the industry. And so that's that's a bit of my background. And my dad, um, when he emigrated to Canada, just became the most patriotic Canadian. Love it. And that's how he raised us, was in that aspect to appreciate our culture here to be able to reach out to people. We ended up making wonderful friends because as you can imagine, East Indian food <laughs> brings Absolutely. the masses to your home. So so you lived, uh, you've been in Strathmore, I mean, um, in Chestermere for many years, 42 right? 42 years. 42? Correct. Come on. Yes. You are born there, in other words. Well, pretty much, okay. yes. Yeah, we won't tell me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah. so um, that's awesome. So what, what caused you to take the, the plunge into politics four years ago? So I mean, because you, first of all, you didn't tell us, but you're an accomplished musician, great singer, music teacher, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And multi-talented. So there's not a lot of musicians who run for public office. What drove you to do that? There's a couple of things. I've always been involved in politics. I was a Wild Rose member since 2010. Um, I'm a fiscal conservative. So those policies very much resonated with me. So I worked with previous MLAs very, very hard mm -hmm. to get them elected under that banner. But... Um, what sort of gave me that final push. And I actually did political sciences in university too. My original dream outside of being a musician was to be a translator for the United Nations initially. But anyways, that ended up going in a completely different direction and I felt through music I could make a big difference that way. But um, as we moved into 2014, 2015, as you know, the floor crossings happened. Mm. And at that point in time, um, we were looking for a candidate in our area. And I was, I had a, I was uh, directing a choir in my in my studio and I came down the stairs and they said you know we found a candidate and I said great who are we getting behind and they said you and that's how that happened there wow. was seven men sitting in my kitchen <laughs> that they had decided that I was the right candidate at that point in time and I gave them a real run for their money Jason like I, I was there was a month there where I just wasn't sure if it was the right thing for me um, but all of them sat down and explained to me the opportunity that I had. And when you're asked to come forward like that, there's a some point you have to realize well, they, that yeah, it's the right thing you to do. You got to do it. Well, clearly they, they were good um, talent scouts and I'm just glad <laughs> that you said yes. Um, so Leela, I know you're uh, knocking on doors. And by the way, you're, you're, you pitch in visiting with Albertans from diverse communities all across the province. Truly appreciate that. In your own constituency, what are you hearing from people? What's their uh, their real concern right now? So Strathmore and Chestermere in particular um, are heavily impacted by what's going on with our natural resource industry. And most of the businesses and, and communities around that area, including all of the um, secondary industries, are related to the impacts that happen right. in the oil patch. So we have pipeline fitters and we have drillers and we have you know folks that are working in the industry whether that's in businesses or you know downtown which of course is empty now as a result of what's been going on in our industry so what we hear at the doors to such a degree is about the economy and about jobs. Mm -hmm. That's a large part and education, of course, because um, we have a lot of young families out in our area and uh, the infrastructure, we're growing at a thousand students per year in Chestermere Rocky View. So, so that's a large part. the economy, uh, unemployment, mm -hmm. but also um, a growth in the community. Mm -hmm. um, well, you, you're a strong voice on all of those issues, Lila, and we're just looking forward to working with you. Lila, thank you so much for this and uh, look forward to seeing you hopefully in the next legislature as part of this big turnaround operation. I hope so too. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.